Jess, have you ever had a pickle pizza? I have. Yeah? yeah. And they're good? Yeah. Hungry Howie's makes it. Hungry, of course a Hungry Howie would. <laughs> I think I'm eyeing one of these over here. I can smell it. You missed it, Dan. What? You missed it. You what did I? You could have had pickle pizza. I, but I have pepperoni pizza. You I'll pretend it's a pickle. Supreme pickles. pizza. Dan didn't have the guts to try the pickle pizza. No, out of all the things, I picked pizza. <laughs> it's a big piece of pizza. It is. It's too big. It's like it's bigger than your mohawk. I know, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Eat your pizza so we can go to work. <laughs> this is me vlogging. This is me vlogging. Yeah. Okay, now come here. Come here. That's so cool. This is for Steve. Oh, it is. She's looking for Steve. Where's Steve? <laughs> all the art and stuff in here is pretty cool. Oh, the butterflies. Oh! That's in West Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool. I like paintings that are spread over multiple canvases. Yeah. Lips! We're at the part where we're never gonna get to our tickets in a different hotel that we're staying at to get the CES because Jess found the lucky machine. Look at her go. Let's watch her, Let's watch her go. Go ahead. Go ahead. She's like the thing from Toy Story. Ooh. Jess, you're like the claw. Ooh, the claw. I don't know, you're just staring at the lights. Wait, did you touch did you touch the pigs? I think I seen I think in one of your videos I saw Jamie touching the pigs. Uh, so look at, see how they're all little? They got a little bigger, that one got bigger. This is the one to play, it's $4.50 a pole. That's the one to play. Because this pig's gotta get a little bit bigger, and then he explodes and you get all that stuff. Explode him! That's $4.50 a Did pole. Did you just see the look on her face of that, <laughs> that like sly, like, huh, yeah, 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 Don't yeah. Say that, yeah. <laughs> oh, I saw that look. We still haven't made it to CES. We, we're trying to make it to a different hotel to even just get a badge. We don't know what we're gonna do. Nah, we're we'll get there. Don't worry, we'll get there. I haven't lost before and this is what it looks like. <laughs> I you mean, don't even know where that's from. Uh, let's see, I got Nobody, lost before and this is the thing. Some people in it's, the audience will know what it's, it's from. It's gonna be Emperor's New nope. Hercules. Not a cartoon. Cronks. Not a cartoon. Somebody in the audience will know. It, Somebody even in your audience can, will know. Cannibal the Musical. No. What is it? It's the Youpers. Oh, no, I don't know those. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's not the Tenilla now. I've been lost before, and this is what it looks like. <laughs> we got well, lost again. Okay, we did, we, okay, we got, I gotta go. Look, we, there's we, a lake over we there. We need directions. We got a pretty good view from the parking garage. There's where the Super Bowl is going to be at, for all you ball freaks. This is the Raider Stadium, so I think this is where the Super Bowl is going to be at, because there's all, all kinds of... Uh, Super Bowl stuff activity happening. There's our hotel, but like my room's like up at the top here, but on the other on the other side. Hey, <laughs> tag your it. Are you vlogging here? Yeah, this is what it looks like when I vlog. Yeah, right? right? <laughs> Me too. Only actually I usually have a camera. We made it. The sphere. It took us an hour to park. It took us an hour to park, yes. But we're here. <laughs> but we're finally here. Tomorrow we're taking the tram. And now we get to see this with all the advertisements on it. I know, huh? So Let's go check out some tech. Ah, CES 2024. Place that I've always wanted to go to since my dad got to go to this when I was a little kid. All kinds of tech here, like this vibrating chair insert that you can get so you can feel the pulse on your back when you're being shot by 13-year-old kids in Call of Duty. Loved all the flashing lights that are here. There's so much to see. Speaking of scene, I'm not sure what was going on here, but I think this was the three blind mice simulator. I didn't get in line for this one, and I think maybe now I regret it. They also had cool looking controllers, you know, for your like Nintendo Switch and stuff, and in case your hands are shaped funky, or you like the old school controllers. Whoa, who remembers this classic thing? Wow. There was also some super rad sim racing tech. I'm a big sim racing fan, and I'm so excited to see these pods come to home use. Ah, that's exactly what I look like. 
Well, maybe not like that. That's more like Jamie's style there. So maybe there's a McLaren on the other side. I can't get into the Red Bull car. There's tech everywhere. There's pinball machines and sim racing pods and arcades. And it's, it's okay, it's just, it's we, Dan doesn't know how to work his phone. No, we've been inside here for 10, the door's right there. We haven't we made, made it, it this far. past, we haven't made it at all. Oh my gosh, it is insane in here. Red Bull racing is just everywhere. You, you could not get away from Max Verstappen and any of his doings over the last three years. A lot of the tech revolved around televisions. Look how big these TVs are these days. Oh my gosh. The new tech for the televisions, though, is see-through TV. As you can see, you can see through this LG TV here, which I think is pretty cool. It's not quite there yet. I was kind of impressed by it. I would like it to have, like, the walls of my house be like this. So you can either change the colors, you can put pictures on there, you can watch TV, the full size of your wall, or you can turn on and off your walls to see into the other room. Just don't go walking through this clear glass. Now that is a camera. Wow. Whoa, that camera's compensating for something. Things here are so big, you feel really tiny in this place. All this for data communications. We sell prepaid phone cards. A fancy car, could it be? I was a little disappointed to see this dancing car and air quotes, but Blake pointed out to me later they were mostly showing off the functionality of these arms that were moving. There was robot arms everywhere. That's the first limb out of robotics that we're going to get that's going to be super dialed in and help you like with all the things that are in your house. You'll see more of that later in this video. There you go. A dancing car. Hmm. Your sphere. Jess, we really so cool. can get one of our own. We can. We just wow. talked about this. To go on safari. <laughs> oh, you're so lost. Wow, that just shot like energy at me of like color. Oh, wow, look at like, <laughs> the color, like gave me goosebumps. I really love the sphere. Not only the one on the outside, but this little one on the inside. I can't wait for these to be shrunk down enough to be able to fit on my kitchen table so I can mimic exactly what's going on on the Vegas sphere. Look how happy that thing is. I don't even know what it is, but he's happy. Oh, no, he's not. I'm not even sure what the heck is going on here except for a display in uncomfortability. Is that even a word? Heck, it is now. I might as well invent it just like they invented whatever the heck this thing is right here. Hmm. Speaking of tech, food tech was there too. It's almost idiot proof to cook things. Show up hungry, they said, but that line was too long. I think these things set timers for you. They beep when it's time to flip over your burger. This big, huge Megatron arm has been dissected so they could put a camera on it. I wish I would have recorded a few more minutes longer because this guy was making eye candy to the camera. You might be able to see little glimpses I was shutting it off. He really got into it. Oh! Things to show off things. Sometimes you're confused about what's going on with the tech here. This particular place, after I found out later, was promoting their monitors. So you're able to sit down, do some gaming. I'm already stimulated. I couldn't even possibly concentrate on some games there. Convention food at its friest. <laughs> I tried to pick the one that had the least amount of like desolate chicken uh, pieces. I think we're good. The craziest part so far, it's just so many people. There's so many people. You don't even know what's gonna happen. You don't even know what's coming off of the elevator. It's it's like seeing the series at the petting park. <laughs> like, Take me home. Take me home. I was just trying to be adopted. Right. You know what would have made their booth even cooler? What? A mermaid. One of my favorite things about tech is robots. This did not disappoint. I don't know what kind of animal this is or what's going on. If it's supposed to be a dog or a cat, but this thing was rad. I thoroughly enjoyed it walking around with visions in my head and dreams when I sleep of a beautiful utopia where robots rule the world. Maybe not quite like the Terminator, but something along that lines. So cool. So cool. I'm not really sure what's going on here or what that spinning thing is for, but I can use my imagination. You know what the best part about it is? What? You don't have to clean up after it. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it. it looked like it had hump leg mode. It did. I saw it. Aw, oh, so cute. Can I take you home? <laughs> this 
This futuristic looking motorcycle is kind of cool. I'm not sure what's going on in the back of it. Don't even know if there's brakes back there, but look at the size of the brake rotor on the front of this thing. This thing looks fun, and it might fit right into my living room. Whoa, PlayStation 2. All kinds of cars here. Sometimes I don't even know what the tech is in this car, but I was just impressed on being next to such a powerful beast. Who knows if this thing's real or has AI on the inside? Have we not learned anything from the Cybertruck? Yeah, that's Honda's. Do you think they're evil riders? <laughs> <laughs> I mean... I mean, they're here. They could be. <laughs> Eehaw! <laughs> I just now realized the size of the door. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's a big Imam van to shove all your bratty E kids in. Pretty much. Shut up and go. Facing the other way. Jimmy, shut up and go to virtual reality in the back seat. Two AA batteries required. All this tech for a crappy do not touch sign. <laughs> I, it's, that would be, that would be the first thing on my agenda at Monday's meeting when we get back from CES is why somebody took a Sharpie marker and said, do not touch. Whoa. I don't even know what's happening anymore. How am I supposed to ask for money? <laughs> this is going to really make it harder for the lot lizards at some of the gas stations. <laughs> Uh, I think okay. we're running on lack yeah, of sleep. Get me out of here before they take my badge. It says yeah. in the back here that they're able to rip the badge off of me and take it and send me back out. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. that doesn't surprise me. Ooh, look at that one. Ooh. Fancy. Uh, whoa, look whoa. how rad this camera is. Nice. Yeah, we're gonna get a car and then you get distracted. Oh, I like the camera. I like the Sony camera better. Forget the car tech. I'll take the camera. So this is what happens when you 3D print a big drone and you stick it on top of last year's concept car, you get this thing. Check it out, the, the Cybertruck 2.0 drops it off. <laughs> it comes alive. Oh, that person just showed up inside it. I guess you spawn inside it. And then, uh, and then off you go. Wow. She's back with her Taco Bell. Oh, wow. It looks so stuffy up there. There's nothing like having modern tech with the uh, serial ports here. Well, there's a parallel port down there. Maybe they're printing dot matrix out of here. Slug bug. So much tech and so much tech tech. Oh, Porsche flex. Whoa, Joe Asuzu got an upgrade. This car looks like it was printed with a 3D printed pen. Ooh, Mercedes. This looks like the 24 hours of Le Mans car that he put all that arrow on. Jimmy Johnson, Jeff Burton, and Rockenfiller drove this last year. Look at all that arrow. All that arrow just to try to just to try to push it down, just to try to keep the forces down. Especially for the 24 hour race. All that side arrow there. So cool. Mercedes no more. Oh my gosh. That's what happens when you pull the curtain behind Oz back. Yes, Fortnite. Oh, it's the Dear John area. The booth next to it's the my Dear Aunt Sally booth. We'll go there next. Wow. We don't need anything this big for the farm. Wow. Look at that thing. Wow, this stuff's massive. Oh, look. It's all like automated now. Do you think it comes pre programmed with the words crawl? But so you those could are like. more affordable. Thanks. Welcome. How you doing? Good. Let me know if I can answer any questions. Thank you. There's not enough corn in here. It's corn! <laughs> Plants vs. Zombies 3. Dude, it's the new take Zilla's ride. Remember when that dude like welded himself into that tank and tore up the city? This is like the new version of that. And oh, this thing's huge. Ugh. 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 You think I can be a farmer? I think his whole life has just been made. <laughs> Squishing down? Yeah. Wow. Is it everything you ever wanted? It is everything I ever wanted. Good. I'm glad we waited. Can we get one? Uh, you can. They're not cheap. <laughs> They're definitely not cheap. But uh, if you get one, we'll keep it at the farm. Okay. Maybe I can get city tires for it like my Jeep. Yeah, maybe you could. I don't know that that's a good idea. 
All right, let's go. I'm not sure what it is, but I love it. The people here said I was born to ride one of these things, and I think they're right. This looks like something out of Akira. Wow. The irony of your arm hurting while this arm's working in this video is perfect. I love it. That's why we have, <laughs> I love that's it. Why we have robot arm, right? Yeah, right. You got the robot yeah. arm. You're good. <laughs> it is perfect marketing. Yeah. Is your arm hurt? Get the robot. I know, right? Finally a robot to pick up all my mess. There is a lot to this booth for this car. So much. I don't even know if I'm allowed to go up these steps to accept my award or not. Maybe. Here. I'll just like start stepping if nobody says nobody said anything. We'll take one more step. Nobody said anything. <laughs> Three steps. Nobody's kicked me out. Hi, can I go up here? Okay. Oh, thank you. This booth is an experience. Look, it's got like all those Harry Potter like lights going up and down. Yeah. Is that really one light per solenoid? Oh my gosh, spare no expense. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. What do we hear of the car or is the car part of the piece? Darn, I don't know what was happening here, but I missed it. Hmm, is he the robot? I can't tell. Ooh, the F1 pace car. You know, Verstappen's hitting around here somewhere, I'm sure. Whoa. Dang, it's gonna be impossible for the Gilligan to get lost with this technology. Wow. Whoa, check this out. Spider-Man, Spider-Man now has a family van. Oh my gosh. It's pretty cool though. I mean, it's just a sticker app, but it's still pretty cool. Now here's something that I can get behind. Just everything's rad. Not one thing looks comfortable at all. <laughs> like I can, <laughs> nothing looks comfortable. But it's still rad. It's like a cyber truck, but not stuck in the ditch. Like a cyber truck, but not a piece of junk. Whoa, this thing looks like a sleepy bear. That's kind of cool. Do you think they're trying to order dinner in there? Whoa, what do you think the tech is in this thing? That is beautiful. An opportunity to take a vehicle. Of course, they're talking about Michigan. Camping for the future. I think that thing's made out of paper mache. What do you think about autonomous race cars? Professional meetings and gamer chairs. Now that is a projector. Wow. Still better than the last episode of Game of Thrones. Check this out. The ultimate peeping Tom. 360 camera technology for your phone. I bet pretty soon your front and back camera will be built in 360. Yep, we'll do it first. Mark my word, Not in 20 Apple. years, it'll be done. Oh yeah, 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 <laughs> you'll probably do it first. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, they've upped the tech of my pogo ball when I was a child. They got to the bar early. The fact that sim racing is becoming so popular right now is making me so happy. Look at those load cells, beautiful. All right, check this out. The one thing that I really wanted to do when I was here is turn myself into a hologram. It looks way clearer in person, but imagine the game show. Imagine the game show done in hologram Dan. Pretty cool, huh? It just made this trip so much worth it. Gonna try the moonwalkers, Dan? Can I? Yeah, do it. We're here. So they're like, look at these shoes that make you walk faster. Dan's learning how to wear shoes that's going to make him walk three times faster. We'll see if they work or not. I had a lot of fun testing out these walking shoes that make you walk faster. The tech ain't quite there yet, but I appreciate the innovation and what's going to come in the future. What are you doing, Dan? <laughs> we found the Google booth. So Dan had to sit in the Google chairs. There's probably like millions of dollars of business vehicles. Well, probably, but guess what? <laughs> the look of the ride. I bet we could 3D print these. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stuck. So I'm go get See you later. Go Bye. Go Bye. I'm out. See you later. <laughs> Dan's trying some Japanese chocolate.
It was, but I like the first one better. All right, that's another one for Bamboo. <laughs> Thank you. This place makes me love the future. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Imagine me sitting in the, all the traffic and the confusion to get over here today? Abs absolutely. 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 Oh my gosh. I can't, I can't wait to drive the cars from home. <laughs> oh, it's Vizio. Do you think their tour bus lasts longer than their televisions? Coming to a Walmart near you. Oh, hanging out. Oh, yes. I did see a preview on these uh, cool barbecues. Uh, I did I did see on preview night, they're all come hungry because they're giving out samples here. They're electric, they're Bluetooth. They'll set your Alexa reminders. Alexa, flip the meat. You know, you gotta flip the meat. They did say come hungry. There is a line here of people that want to taste, uh, what do you call it, barbecue or e-barbecue? It's e-barbecue, yeah, it's, it's e-barbecue. E e yeah. yeah, yeah, but I think that technology is kind of cool. It, it is kind of neat for people like me that aren't good at cooking that like, it'll kind of help you cook better. It'll tell you when to flip stuff over, if you tell what you're cooking. Yeah. Let's just stop it, stop it, Dan. Dan, put the lid down, Dan. <laughs> it's, it's got the lid lock on it, Dan, right. put the lid down. Right. Put the lid down. Yeah, it'll definitely help. Yeah, yeah, so I don't know. Once it gets to the point where it takes it out of my fridge, puts it in the thing, does it all, and then just serves it to me, well, then I'll be happy. This car is so fancy that my eyes shouldn't even, like, I shouldn't be allowed to look at this without a credit check. It's just, <laughs> it's just beautiful. I feel like you don't drive these cars. I feel like somebody drives you. All right, let's take a trip to the Walmart because I'm low on cat food. Is that it? 4D experience is just this way. Oh, no thanks. I don't need water shot in my face. Do I gotta show my receipt at the door? Yes. To you? Okay. Thanks. All right. Just like every other Walmart, not even greeted when we walked in there. Yeah, I'm sure she's like, I have no time for your stupid I know, I antics. It was funny. Yeah, probably the first ten times she heard it. <laughs> it's still funny. Oh man, Jess, I think we're out of stuff to do. Are we? Well, guess what? Oh, more doing starts here. <laughs> Perfect. You gotta click it. <laughs> Better camera or the other way as well. Ooh, where the money's at. It looks like work. It does. <laughs> Meet and greet at the charging station. Dude, I don't know how I'm supposed to trust any tech here with what smells like that coming out of the bathroom. That is ridiculous. And I went to Ozfest. Wow. No way. Look how rad this flannel shirt is. This flannel shirt is rad. <laughs> oh, the Bugatti. The Bugatti. The Bugatti. <laughs> oh, you're good. Whoa. Wow. I heard. I heard. I heard it's like 30 grand to get an oil change on here. And, yeah. We just walked by all the lines with our credentials to get to the wall. Oh, Samsung, one of my favorite, favorite companies. I, my televisions. My televisions are Samsung. You're sucking up because you're walking by us. <laughs> Why do you not have a Samsung phone? I didn't because I have a television and a sound bar and both my computer monitors are Samsung. Uh, I don't have an Apple. Hey, you got your appliances to go too, so we can get the weekend transition that route too. We could. You have an iPhone? <laughs> I have. I have it. Oh, Happy shoes! Wee! She's old school too. Now I can get this all done in dinner made and laundry folded before my husband comes home from his nine to five blue collar job. Jess really loves cars and going fast. You know that person that's a like, everything's so fast and aggressive. That's Jess. Would you take this over the Bugatti? Yeah. Yeah. All things being equal, yeah. but yeah. 
Well, that would make for an interesting movie. Science! This is for the upcoming CBS show, Knight Rider Family Edition. We'll the countdown to disappointment. Aren't these the same pods from The Matrix? I mean, possibly, which means you might not want to get in one. I, I was just looking at all the people in line. Oh yeah, there's the line to go and put in the little Matrix pod. If the Matrix pod was as comfortable as those, I think I might be okay. Yeah, but I did the thing of, yeah, but... what's the pill in the Matrix where you stayed in the fake world and it was all digital? Like Real, uh, which, which one where you stay in the fake world? I don't remember. I'm taking that pill. Okay. I like the digital world better. Right. Unamused. Right. Everybody has a, a, a food launcher and a bird watcher and a paint laser thing, but do you have the pepper grinder fish food? If That's this a, is an automatic fish food feeder, yeah. how come this can't automatically add salt and pepper to my meals if I need it? I mean, maybe it could. You could just fill it with salt and pepper. Maybe that's what they should do it for. Where's Where's Mr. RCA at? Right here. Oh, uh, well, are you? Much, is this like? Look at that bling in this bag. And a lot of bling. Do you ever think about bleeding out your dogs? Mm -hmm. We're up here on the top, just checking out the sphere. It is as beautiful as it seems right here so vibrant so smooth so beautiful oh my gosh i can look at this thing forever it's stunning i don't know how everybody's not doing car pileups from staring at it it's not always in the way you can't see it from everywhere and obviously there's our little luxor lights that you can see there oh. we're just going to sit here and stare at this for a little while before we had to go get something to eat wow Yeah, I'm leaving this clip a little long. This is I'm just this is my moment. So I've said it before. I'm attracted to LED lights, like Lisa Left Eye Lopez is attracted to fire. Ah, nobody has a penny. I'll be back for you. And action. This is for fancy Midwesterns right here. <laughs> I like rocks. Is <laughs> <laughs> I just like how they feel, you know. <laughs> Are you excited a little bit? I like rocks. What is rock? What is this? Is what bougie West Coast rocks are, right? It's an amethyst. It's beautiful. I have multiples of these at home. That one's pretty. But this is what you get when you when you mix Vegas and rocks. Yeah. That's pretty. Hello. Thank you. They all have different properties. Yeah. All right. You look, like these, they all have different like. I've never seen that before. Yeah, so they all have different. I totally am not into it, but. But oh, look at they like made butterflies oh, out of the slices. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. For the tree that looks like the dark it. crystal. That's, that's why the amethyst is my favorite one. Can you flip it over to see the price? Ninety nine, ninety nine. That's not bad. We should go win it. We, we should. should win we it. should go win a hundred bucks. Wow. Does it light up? No. My apologies. I was just at a tech convention, <laughs> and if it doesn't light up or have a hologram. Um, you know, the rocks don't do really do much. Look at Because I'm a Capricorn. So, Onyx is protection, willpower, focus, and strength. So I should keep one of these in my pocket all the time so I stay on track. Well, I think of Onyx, I think of that song. That's a toy. This one's the same. Clarity, protection, calmness, and the clean, bad energy. Do you, do you like swallow it or something? No, you're just supposed to you can keep them in your pocket or carry them with you. Or um, Everything has energy, and people believe crystals have energy healing energy powers. If I touch it to my tongue like a 9 volt battery, will I charge up? Maybe. You could try it. <laughs> you know what this is? This is raw emerald. I have some of these at home. I actually have some of all of these at home. But if you look real close, so you can see the emerald. But this is raw emerald. So it's not cut into what looks like a... I feel like... You're, you remind me as if like somebody took Steve Irwin to LA or to Vegas and showed him animals. Look at you. That's that purple rock, but polished. <laughs> Is this how you do Vegas souvenirs when you're from the Midwest? Maybe. Yeah, like, Look, I'm if you bring, buy eight, you get two free. I'm gonna bring my mom back some rocks. Oh, this is hematite. So I have a lot of this at home, but it, it's, it's raw, so it's sparkly. It's nature's glitter. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. It is! Oh, this is too much. I'm gonna have to eat some of this sage. Jess is like five seconds away from taking out her headlamp. <laughs> Look at this. You took me in the rock store. I know, this is great. Look at you. Would you like a crystal skull? Sure, I would take one or two. 
<laughs> How about a mini tree? <laughs> mm. so let me just take this all in for you guys. <laughs> squirrel friend. Ooh, I like that one. Actually. I don't have a squirrel. I have an elephant and a wolf and a cat. As silly as it is. Everybody's like, get the squirrel friend. I have a camel. I did it put underneath. <laughs> this is the closest I'm gonna get to a jackpot that any money's gonna come out of anything here in Las Vegas. That's the only time that you'll see coins coming out. But we got you guys the smashed pennies. Might as well, and that's like way underneath there. Jess, I lost $40. Can I borrow $40? <laughs> you always win, Jess. You want to just film it? Yep. Touch it, Jess. You got it. I told you, I got the elevator to work. You did. You got the elevator to work, and now you're going to win. So see up at the top wheel where it says major, minor, mini? That's where you get the chance to win those up there. Come on, Grand. One eternity later. So... Wait, $2,150? No, $21. $21. $21, yeah. That's it? Oh. <laughs> That's gotta be cold. Do you wanna go around the room? No, I don't. Ooh, it is cold. Look, even just as cold. We walked all the way over here to get a club sandwich. <laughs> We're almost there, Jess. We're not doing this tomorrow. Here's a few seconds of just... I don't know, here, just enjoy being in Vegas, here we go. We went in there last time. We did go in there last time, and maybe this time, too. Oh, wait, we're getting crispy for your donuts again. We're looking for a place called the American, because we did go into the Coyote Ugly, which doesn't... Which made a point to tell you at the door they don't have a bathroom. Yeah. I got geometry food. Geometry food? Because yeah. it's triangles? Yeah. There's this painting that's in my room, and it's right next to my face at night. And I can't stop seeing the chicken, <laughs> the squawky chicken Dan in this picture. It's, it's like, it's like nightmare fuel now. So there you go, there was our trip to CES, and we are still in Las Vegas for the next video that's going to be coming up, where we're going to go to Red Rock Canyon and Omega Mart. So it's going to be a lot of fun, you're going to want to stay tuned for another, oh my gosh, 34 minute vlog, that's how long this one is. The rest of the night you can see here that I was working on the Snow Dogs Vlogs videos, and all that good stuff in my room. We'll have a room tour and all that great stuff. I had an amazing time. Check out Jess's video, obviously, on the same trip that we had. And tune back in for part two of our great Vegas adventure. Love you guys.